I'm Ava Slow with the Noodle today. With me today is Francesca. Hi, I'm Francesca Figueroa. Today is Tuesday, October 5th. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's weather will be cloudy with a high of 69. Let's see whose birthdays are today. It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Yes, to you. Good morning, Clark Mills. We are celebrating Socktober, and since it's October 1st, I'd like to share a little bit about that with you. Did you know that the number one most needed but least donated item for homeless shelters is socks? It all started with a silly idea. Socks plus October equals Socktober. In October 2011, Brad Montague realized that there was a large homeless population in his hometown, and he wanted to do something about it. While researching the needs of the homeless community, he learned that socks are the items least donated to homeless shelters. So Brad took action. He began to film himself wishing people happy Socktober as he gave out pairs of socks on the streets, and he posted videos on social media. Why the great need for socks? Well, living on the street is punishing on the feet, so socks get worn and filthy. Wearing dirty socks is a health issue, especially for people with diabetes and foot wounds. And warm socks are a necessity during the cold winter. Finally, having clean, dry socks is a true comfort to our homeless neighbors who face daily struggles and despair. The gift of new socks is a sign that people empathize their plight and actually care. So word got around about these videos since then. Socktober has exploded. Kids and adults around the world have started their own sock drives to benefit their local homeless shelters. In 2013, Socktober teamed up with Kid President to spread the word and encourage more people to participate. Now you're going to hear from Kid President and we'll be kicking off the month of Socktober. Thank you for all your donations. Today's SEL topic is working with others. What are some skills you use when working with others? All fourth and fifth graders who are interested in coding, listen up. The coding club will be returning this year. It will meet on E-days after school. If you're interested, there will be info and a link to apply a backpack. So be on the lookout for it. Please have your parents log into your Google account to access the form. Any other questions, ask Ms. Heck. We will be holding our PTO fun run in school on October 15th. Have fun while raising money for Clark Mills. The classroom with the highest donation amount will win $50 to the book fair gift certificate to use at our spring book fair for their classroom library. If the school reaches its goal of $12,000, each student and staff in their pajamas are a date to be determined. Have your parents help you register and win donations to win great prizes. Simple dimples, pop it, fidget, fidgets, and the top earner in CN will receive 400 bubble pop fidget mats. To make our fun run even more fun, Mr. Orlando and Mrs. Jen will be silly stringed by one student from each grade. Want to be one of the lucky students to silly string the principal? For every 10 email, emails or texts your parents share or, or your, of your link, you will receive an entry. And for every donation you receive from out, someone that lives outside of NJ, you will also receive an entry. There are so many ways to enter. Who will be one of our lucky winners? Don't worry though, the entire school will get to see the fun on video. Don't forget to wear your class colors tomorrow. Well, those are the announcements for today. Remember, step up to learning and kindness at Clark Mills. <laughs>